It's Tuesday morning. Stephanie's got the coffee. She had two coffees, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Another one there, three. And I've been to Waitrose. And after the man's come and put a new battery in the car, we've just driven around testing it out. Of course, a lot of things like the mileage and all that. Well, the trip has gone to zero and a few things have gone back to zero. Uh, and the time has gone to zero. So you can see it's 37 minutes since you reconnected the battery. Look, it says midnight or 37. So I have to change the time and things on the clock, won't we? Yeah, so we're going to go and have a look at the nature reserve now. Is that right? <laughs> So it's Tuesday morning and you can see it's not as much flow as yesterday. It's still flowing over most of the weir, but not all of the weir uh, in terms of like full flow. And the pools are now a bit more settled down there. Remember yesterday things were flowing all the way down there. There's a little white bird you can see down there. Look, what's that? It's like another bird as well. There's two birds there. One in front of the white bird, yeah. and then... So, remember yesterday's shot, this is all flowing over, all here fast, all them things are getting flattened. And then today, you can see all the gravels and the, the pools are quieter. So it's amazing the change just in a few hours. So walking now, past the, there's like a little footbridge that we sometimes walk across the river in Otley when we come from the, past the little mill area and the hydroelectric and walk along a bit. But we've just, past, instead of doing the circular loop, we've just come along. And we're gonna go and have a look at the little nature reserve, see if there's any dragonflies and things like that. So this is the little nature reserve area. We'll have a look, see what it says. Oh yeah. Weed or wonder, got thistles and Lots of thistles, yeah. Things like that. Thistles are fantastic. It's tiny, isn't it? Whoop. That's We're not I'm sure we can. Oh, tiny little blue butterfly, yeah. We're trying to identify it in the butterfly book. Yeah. We've just seen a little pond, haven't we? We're going to have a look at the bigger pond now. It's just the woodland area. English oak and ash, hazel, cherry, holly, birch, beech. Yeah, only 11.5% of Great Britain is good with trees. I'm trying to increase it. Yeah, that's it, hide under the tree. It's going out, it's just like a baby. A little pool goes all along here. Mm -hmm. You can see that actually like lily pads and things there with little white flowers on the reeds. So yeah, this is a Gallows Hill Nature Reserve and it uh, is sort of on the outskirts of Otley and in fact just up that there, just through the back of there is the garden centre, Otley Garden Centre and then the football grounds and things like that and rugby pitches and things right that way. This actually was a former sewage works, like years and years ago, and they've they've, they've turned it. They've, all that infrastructure has gone. I mean, it's just defunct, and they've just used the land, turned the land uh, into a nature reserve with woodland planting, and then some of these original sort of settling beds they've just made into ponds and things. Uh, and there is a good variety of wild flowers and all that growing, and wild plants growing. So yeah. And we're just, we are just next to the river here, so just in there, down running along that way, that's where the River Wharf is flowing. So we're sort of downstream here of the main part of Otley, so the river continues to flow uh, east. And all the rivers, they all come together, so you've got like all the rivers from the Dales, like the, the River Nid and the Ewer, uh, and the Ouse, that flows through York. And then the, the wharf in the River Air, and they all flow down and they all come together and they eventually end up in the, the top of the Humber Estuary. And even uh, you've got things like the, the rivers that come from Birmingham, actually surprisingly that flows east as well. 
so you've got the Trent and uh, it flows also into the top of the Humber estuary so there's a huge area of England like about a third of England or something flows into the into the Humber Just a little loop through this little housing estate where this is the mill and the hydroelectric station. So just a little loop through there. Emergency vehicles and buses only. We must have to lower that with an emergency fire excess. Must have a special button they can press to lower it. Yeah. So this is a little restaurant here, but very expensive. I've, we looked at the menu on that just to see what it was all about. And uh, people can sit next to the river or even sit outside at the back there. But I mean, it's uh, it's like 20 pound for a course here, you know, for a meal. And that's just one course without drinks. So we're just parked up here. The benefit though is that it does have free Wi Fi, so you can sit in your car and use the Wi Fi off it for free in this car park area here. There's a cold couple up there just sitting, having a look at the river. Brought their little foldy chairs. Check out the Waitrose coffee. So it's uh, Tuesday afternoon, it hasn't rained yet. I'm just in the middle of doing a bit of a garden and clear out and all like clearing weeds and leaves as you can see. Uh, and I've sort of the foxgloves, the dead foxgloves, I've cut them all back. I've just shook the, the seeds and things out. And I've still got the seeds, seed heads here. I'll just shake a few more, but I've like, there's millions of seeds. I've just, just shook them all over the shop. So I've dug the, I've left a couple of the giant ones in. You can see there, just left them in. Um, weeded and cleared it all out, refreshened it up. I'm clarting on my lights. I'm, uh, as you can see there, I'm also continuing on with the land eye hedge which I had done this the other day. And then here, you can see where I'm up to, where the ladder is, with all the stuff sticking out there. Uh, but I'm just in the middle, like, letting batteries charge up. And so while they're charging up, I'm clarting on, de deadheading this and moving stuff around and clearing things up and all that. I started in that corner and I've like cleared underneath the decking where there was a lot, a lot of debris builds up under the hedge. So I've cleared all that out. I'm just going to make my way around the garden, just sort of slowly but surely. But I've been, as you say, weeding this out and getting out some of the, the foxgloves. Of course, when you do that, you see next year's foxgloves are here. They're already there. Loads of them. All the next year's ones are already just sort of sitting there waiting. You can see there's some there as well. Uh, yeah. And then it also allows you to see these better from the kitchen window and things like that. Some of these little mini sunflowers and things and the, these nice flowers there's all sorts of color still here you can see where i'm up to with the with the hedge there yeah, i haven't re-weeded too much here but this is little just little seeds were put in here just a little patch that we've sprinkled some and they're growing up, up flowers and things there uh, yeah so there's still plenty of colour of all different types, as you can see. Uh, yesterday afternoon or evening, I did the uh, entire outside boundary hedge and the grass verges, cut them inside and out. And also some of the overhanging butterfly bushes and what have you that were overhanging the hedge on here on the outside, cut them back a bit. So I did that. So I did this hedge inside and out. Uh, I can see it there. Is there a plane going over? Yeah, so this is the, this is the hedge. I sort of trimmed and then did the grass after that. So the, then it picks up all the cuttings if you uh, trim the hedge and then do that. Still lots of seed pods coming off the lime tree. So even though I only cut this yesterday, you can see how the wind's blowing them down. Swept up all this. Uh, 
here you can see this was all overhanging uh, the hedge there so i've just sort of cut that back quite a bit there as well and on top of stuff growing out there yeah as well car's got another new battery in today you can see the hedge here look so it's quite a long distance of hedge you've got to keep trimmed and the top of course is the most challenging bit the top of the hedge right up there and you can see all the seed pods that have come down just since yesterday afternoon because that was completely swept up and clear yesterday so they did all that all around there there we go also there was a lot of like this weed stuff funny weed stuff growing thick like a thick sort of thing catching everything in here and i got the wire brush and just brushed it out so it doesn't disturb the the bedding or anything it was just these like horrible tough weeds which uh, i've just scraped out with a wire brush in there So, yeah, getting towards the end of July. Homestead Estate. That's a new light they installed there. So we've... Uh, uh, sort of cleaned up the path with all the bits of stuff that was growing through and just finalising the position of the final little flowers and what have you. Bit of evening sun. It's seven o'clock on Tuesday evening. I did the Leandai hedge all along. Whoa. 